Adelaide. 2,000 had auditioned for the show. They queued for hours. Some so keen they camped out all night. They came in their thousands. The search for new housemates hit Melbourne. With a common dream of winning a spot in the ultimate social experiment, the original and the best. This is Big Brother. New house. New housemates. But can they keep a secret? The wait is over. Big Brother starts now. Welcome to Dream World. Here's your host, Sonia Kruger. Every day I'm shuffling. Fourteen housemates, all with a secret. One winner, you decide. to 14 shiny new housemates. Big Brother left no stone unturned in his nationwide search and you won't believe who he found. Now Big Brother of course is the ultimate social experiment. Locked away from the outside world the housemates will live together and nominate each other for eviction and one by one they will leave the house. But for the last housemate standing a life-changing prize of $250,000. these secrets? Well, every housemate has one, and every housemate is protecting one. All of them are genuine. Some are genuinely mind-blowing, and tonight, the housemates will be revealed. The secrets will be revealed. And Big Brother's big plan will be revealed. We won't go to the housemates without a house, so let's check it out. More cameras, more microphones, and less contact with the outside world than ever before. This is the all-new Big Brother house. <laughs> Model of past, present, and future. Let's take a look at the house. There's the backyard. This is the present bit. Beautiful pool. How nice is that? It's warm. Wood fire, pizza oven, enormous barbecue, outdoor entertaining area, of course. And in the middle of the pool, can you see the floating island? Oh, lots of interesting conversations, I'm sure, will be had in there. Now, this is the past section of the house. You go through to the kitchen. Look how retro it is. Check out the wallpaper. Laminix tables, all the cutlery crockery. It's 1950s in design. We go back across the backyard into the lounge. Ooh, just like the opera house. It's beautiful, that roof. The couch is comfy. Secret room, secret room, that's all I'm saying. Behind the glass, into the bathroom. Nice, luscious, lime bathroom. And of course, the housemates will be scrubbing up in there, primping and preening. Here's the bedroom. Beautiful modern decor, very futuristic, glowing blue beds. And of course, the sleeping arrangements, they're always a hot topic, aren't they? In the house? Isn't the house amazing? How long do you think it'll look all shiny and new with a cyclone of new housemates arriving tonight? 
Does anyone want to meet the first housemate? Yeah. All right, then. This is Michael. Let's not get confused with man. I'm not a man yet. I'm still a boy living in sort of a slightly overweight, hairy red man's body. Bonkers. <laughs> I live in a lovely three-bedroom villa in the idyllic suburb of Newmarket in Brisbane, next to a main road. Oh, I didn't see you there. Busy working on my garden. How's the serenity? It's all about the serenity here. <laughs> One of us grown in the old beverage farm. This one's just about ripe. <laughs> I'm a good wingman because the only thing girls talk to me about is my hair. Girls will be like, I love your hair, and I'm like, this is awesome. Wait, hold on a second. They just want it on them. They think I look like a lady. I've never been in a fight before, and I look like me. In Brisbane, I need a little bit of time for people to be like, he looks funny, but he's all right. Why Big Brother? I might think I'm this reasonably nice dude that everyone surely will think is okay. And then I get out and everyone's just like, you are the worst human in the world. He's got better hair than your average Kardashian. Please welcome Michael. Can I just say, I love your hair. Thank you. Is it real? I found it this morning. Did you? <laughs> now, you are, Michael, the first housemate to go into the house in four years. Does that make you feel special? You are. Oh, cool. Thank you for that. I'm excited. All right, let's talk housework. Do you plan on doing any cooking or cleaning in the house? I like cooking. I mean, if you can handle getting hair in your food, I'll cook for you. <laughs> I kid. I kid. I, no, I don't kid at all. Because I don't How many much. shirts did you bring with you? Five, I think. Five shirts? Uh, maybe six. I don't know. I just grabbed what was on my floor. <laughs> hey, um, what's your secret? Um, well, I, what do you mean? Your secret? What's your secret? Uh... You know, you can't tell me. You can't tell me, can you? I don't, I don't know what one. it is either. There's a, a small cat in there. That's my secret. <laughs> well, you can leave the cat with me because we will be scanning your bag. So, Michael, you are going to head into the house. Good luck. Brother, give me a hug. Michael will now be frisked by Big Brother's security team. Remember, there are no mobile phones, no oh, internet, good. no reading or writing material. They'll receive no news from the outside world or anything to distract them from their fellow housemates. Yay! So let's watch as Michael enters the Big Brother house for the first time. <laughs> this is better than my house. Much better. I feel so alone. <laughs> I need to go to the toilet. Oh, this, is the toilet. <laughs> this is the worst because I know I'm being filmed. <laughs> this is... <laughs> I don't know where to start. This is like the opposite of where I live. <laughs> ah, so much room for activity. Oh god, my god. Laundry. <laughs> That'll happen. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! 
Which one is the sexiest bed? Um, come in. Hold on a second. Do I have to sleep with people? This is mine. The, the, lived in. What an absolute classic Michael is. We didn't reveal his age. He's actually three. <laughs> All right, well, he's all alone, but he did get first dibs on the bed. Now, over 20,000 people applied for Big Brother. 14 were chosen, and one of them was Sarah. In many ways, I'm an average girl next door. <laughs> I'm a car salesperson. It's rarely that you don't have a day that you'll meet someone that will come and go, oh, a female salesperson. I don't think selling cars is a weird job for a woman. We do a better job. So I'm going to get pain for that one, but absolutely. I've got to be spot on. You know, if I do the right thing by you, you'll tell maybe five people. But if I do the wrong thing, you'll tell 20. And I won't have a career. Why the long face? I'm a real animal lover. I love horses. They're just a beautiful, kind-hearted animal. I've never met a meat horse. <laughs> The kind of person I would hate to be stuck in the house with is a condescending person. Philosophy for life is definitely, the glass is always half full, so I think if we can leave our mark on the world in a positive way, that's something and that means a lot to me. She sells cars for a living, but she swears she's not dodgy. It's Sarah! Fantastic. Now, this could be your last look at the outside world for up to three months. So, how are you it's feeling? Pretty good look. It's a pretty good look. Yeah. <laughs> what sort of people are you hoping Big Brother has put in the house with you? Oh, relatable people. Uh, good people to talk to. I love a chat. And who are you going to miss from the outside world the most? I'll miss the boyfriend, Ryan. <laughs> Friends and family. Of course, you miss your mum the most. Sarah. You look fantastic. We wish you all the best Thank for tonight. Give me a Sonia. hug. Thanks, Sonia. Leave your bag there. You head off to the house. Sarah. Let's watch now as Sarah becomes the first lady of the Big Brother house. kitchen if my grandma wasn't crazy. What's in here? Can I go in here? No, it's locked. A mop. Now the observant ones amongst you may have noticed that this is not the main house and this is just one of many rabbits the big brother is planning to pull out of his big hat tonight. Now Michael has no idea that he is being watched except by us and the rest of Australia of course. You are watching the Big Brother launch show where the secrets are only just beginning. This is Big Brother. Every housemate has a secret. One is hiding great wealth. One is hiding great intelligence. And one is related to royalty. All are hiding something. But Big Brother has secrets of his own. A new way to nominate. A surprising new housemate. A surprising new room. In fact, the Big Brother house is swimming with surprises. And is there only one Big Brother house? All will be revealed in good time. That is all. Welcome back to the Big 
Brother launched, we've already seen the first two housemates cross the threshold of a stunning new house. Two's company. Let's see who will make it a crowd. I love my blonde hair and my cool clothes, but I think at heart I'm I'm really am a boy. <laughs> Definitely not a dumb blonde. I'm majoring in accounting and economics. I study hard at uni. I work very hard at my work. I do have a very intense personality. I would hate to be locked in the house with someone negative or down on themselves or down on other people. If people don't like that, that doesn't faze me at all. I'm just like any other girl though. I do want to be a girly girl. I moved out young, lived in share accommodation, put myself through school. I am single. I, I live in a house with three boys. Love hanging out with the boys. I'll sit there on the couch, I'll drink my beer. Oh, yeah. I love my sport. My friends call me Mange because the way I eat and drink, I will eat sloppy foods, I'll get it all down myself. <laughs> Is that really awkward? <laughs> with a whole bunch of guys, don't you? Yeah, they're my boys. <laughs> so do you think that will give you an advantage as a housemate? Um, I would hope so, but you never know. They're good, they're well behaved, so it depends what the other housemates are like. <laughs> what sort of uh, housemates would you like to have in the house with you? Um, ones that give me a little bit of my own room, but are fun and bubbly and as loud and out there as I am. <laughs> and why are you doing this, Ange? What, what was your reason for wanting to be in the Big Brother house? I think I'm at that age and I've got that sort of um, freedom in my life where I can do whatever I want whenever I want, so I thought, why not? Why not lock myself up for three months where I'm not allowed to do anything I want to do? <laughs> I have to do everything I'm told. It made more sense before you said it like that. <laughs> Best of luck Thank in the house. Thank you so much. Just wow, hi. Hi, nice Let's to meet you. Really nice to this meet you. This is gorgeous. Isn't it? This would be like my dream room. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with it. You're, you're happy with it? Around, but there's oh. not much else, but we're getting a personal tour. Oh. Personal tour. Who's that? I'm going to call him Frank for now. I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> Frank. Yeah. Your name? Sarah. Angela. <laughs> nice to meet you, Angela. Very nice Holy to meet you. Molly. Oh, he's just having a great old time, isn't he? Yeah, I love him already. How exciting! Our first two housemates have met each other, Ange and Sarah. They seem to be getting on okay. And then there's poor old Frank. <laughs> Sorry, Michael. Who must be now wondering, what is this game that Big Brother is playing? Two girls and one guy. Time to meet another guy, right? Right. Yes, I am a country girl. You can smell the gum leaves on me, as my mum says. I've never had a boyfriend, and I've never been in love. I live on a small hobby farm, 40 acres, got a couple of head of cattle. Vegetarians are always up here about killing sheep. I'm like, well, sorry that you don't eat meat, but I love it, and I live on meat. <laughs> I'm probably the most open person I know. I don't like rude people, and people who say use. What are yous doing? I'm uh, about six foot one, broad-shouldered, big, loud person. <laughs> Politically, I'd say I'm more conservative. 
I don't agree with boat people. Apply for a visa, don't let you turn up on our shores on a piece of wood and expect to be welcome with open arms. I think I'm dateable. You know, he's tall and good looking, maybe. He doesn't have to be good looking, he's nice. <laughs> the country girl who's anything but sheepish, it's the Yeah. Have you told your loved ones that you're going off the radar and not going to be contactable for a while? Uh, it's a negative ghostwriter. I have not. I have, uh, my family thinks I'm at uni and my uni mates think I'm at home on holidays. What sort of people are you hoping that Big Brother puts in the house with you, Zoe? Some nice people. <laughs> uh, hopefully a few lookers. Some mine, but okay. Whatever. You've actually said that you're unlucky in love. Yeah, no, I've never been in a relationship, so, you know, it might be a first time for everything. <laughs> Zoe, time to saddle up, girlfriend. It's your turn to go into the house. You ready? Yep. All right. Give her a big round of applause as Zoe... Big Brother is a global phenomenon, and when you see just what goes into it, you'll understand why. where the secrets are still secret, but not for long. Our first housemates are in the house, and Zoe is just about to join them. I thought that could be a thing. Get He's doing a tour. Holy moly. He's Holy. doing a tour. Oh, what? He must Who's be number this? one. He's number one. Oh, he's in. Because I was number three. What's his name? I'm sorry. We don't know. He's loving it. Okay, a little theory out here. So do you think the girls are getting stored in the pink room? Boys, other boys are in the blue room somewhere. No, he's going to... three against one right now. Maybe oh, he's wow. just going to, like, uh, fluff Ooh, around wow. for a while and then they're going to, like, release us all at once. All three of the girls have entered this mysterious room and poor old Michael. <laughs> Just doing his own thing there. I wonder what Michael's reaction would be if he knew he had three girls checking him out. <laughs> what if there were four? But the thing I would change about myself is probably my bomb. It's quite big. I'd like it a bit more. A bit more perky. It's just a big ass. I could get my hair done every day, my nails done every day. I love that lifestyle. I had a beauty salon in England that I owned. Be your own kind of beautiful. <laughs> I'm from Manchester in the UK. I've lived in Australia now since February. I'm like half English, half Maori, adopted Aussie. Perfect. <laughs> I definitely prefer Australia, the whole lifestyle, the Aussie dream that I'm living in. <laughs> I'm not financially stable at the minute, but luckily for me, I've got my dad. I think I've, like, bankrupted them. 
One thing I have to take in with me is my rollers. I have my rollers in, like, all the time. My bad habits would be that I don't shut up. You can tell straight away what I'm thinking, because I have this face. I think I'm going to settle down with an Australian guy. Nice change. <laughs> Big brother, Layla. Thank you, welcome. Now, you haven't, been, <laughs> you haven't been here long. <laughs> welcome to you. Welcome to you. Exactly. <laughs> Can you tell us a few things you've learned about Australia since you've been here? I've just heard some slang words and stuff like that. What sort of words? Uh, brogan. Uh, bogan. <laughs> <laughs> now, you say you're looking for an Aussie guy. I do like, like Aussie guys. And what is it about Aussie guys you like? Just honky. Be good if you had a surf surfing board. It just like it just be perfect. So a surfer in the house. Yeah, surfer dude. Typical cliche. I hope he is in the house for you. I do. <laughs> Give <laughs> Layla a big round of applause. Leave it back. <laughs> personalities in that tiny, tiny room already. So let's see how they react as Layla is thrown into the mix. Some of it, at least. Now, it would be pretty funny, wouldn't it, just to leave Michael in there on his own for three months? <laughs> I know. We're not that mean. Let's give him a friend. I'd love to go out and have a good time. It's, uh, yeah, definitely something that's a big part of my life. My mum and dad are sometimes a little bit critical of the way I live my life. They've always grown up with the mentality of I've got to be financially stable and I'm pretty much the opposite of that at the moment. I pretty much just live paycheck to paycheck. <laughs> so I have a bucket load of fun. I'd say that's my best quality, my fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a singer in a band, lead singer. The best thing about being the lead singer in a band is female attention. <laughs> Which doesn't happen all that often, but when it does, it's great. <laughs> My mum would describe me as a lovely boy. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. You've lived a bit of a rock and roll life, you know. Do you think, will you be the one leading the others astray? 
<laughs> yeah, I think so. And I think Big Brother might get a little bit, you know, terse if you start throwing televisions into the pool and that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. I'm used to that. So. Are, you, are you single? Yes, I am. I am single. Are you asking? I'm asking on behalf of Australia, Josh. <laughs> Well, yes, I am. And, and you're a surfer? Yeah, definitely. I've been a surfer my whole life. It's interesting, don't you think, that Josh is a surfer? Because <laughs> chicks kind of dig that thing, don't they? <laughs> so what's your secret? What's my secret? I don't know what you're talking about. Very good, Josh. Very good. Nice work. You rock on up the stairs, brother. We will see you, you. at some point in the future. Good luck. Yeah. Tonight is all about secrets, and the biggest one of all is what Big Brother is planning to do later. Welcome back to Big Brother 2012. Our first housemate, Michael, has been in the house on his own for probably what feels like a year, I reckon. Let's take a look at what Michael is up to right now. Rifling through the drawers. Oh man, skim milk cream. <laughs> Big Brother, though, is about to put him out of his misery. I don't know what to do. Big Brother, you're flipping me out. This is Big Brother. Oh, I'm caught cool with that. Hey, how are you, big bro? Michael, to the diary room. I don't know what that is. Where's the diary room? Am I in it? Is it? Oh, I'm good. I have to find things. You sound very handsome, big brother. Is this? A, am I walking towards? Is that it? Michael. Yes, big brother. You're way off. Good. I'm glad. Just playing with you. I know exactly where it is. Turn around. Good. Was about to. And keep going. Hey! You sly dog. I look like an idiot with this. Michael. Yes, Big Brother? Big Brother has noticed you're at somewhat of a loose end. Would uh, you like some company? Oh, don't, you know, bring out a bunch of chickens. Oh, uh, yeah, someone to hang out with, that'd be cool. I'm not walking into a trap here, am I? Yes, bring me someone, Big Brother. Michael, go directly to the backyard. Shall I bring my tray of goodies? If you wish. <laughs> Thanks, Big Brother. You sexy thing. of the sexes going on here, because I do. Big Brother's plan is definitely taking shape. Next housemate, please. I'm from the Gold Coast, but I feel like I live an entirely different life to what is typical Gold Coast. I work in a cabaret theatre restaurant. I get to sing, I get to dance, I play multiple instruments. Don't make the most attractive face when I play trumpets. <laughs> <laughs> I was playing this Va Va Voom by Miss Pinup Australia competition in 2011. Va Va Voom. <laughs> I'm single. <laughs> in your dreams, honey. 
like be an individual, carve your own path, do your own thing. So that's my my mantra. Rock on. <laughs> Do you think you'll be able to be yourself inside the house? Oh, very much so. I'm not anyone else but myself. Well, we are glad you are here tonight with us, Shane. I am not going to see you go in there. No. Oh, Leave yeah. that there. Good luck. Luck. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> Say bye. Bye. The next time you come back here, yeah. you'll either have been evicted or you'll be filthy rich. <laughs> Here I come. <laughs> Off you go, girlfriend. Thank you. Shut up. Secret room is full to the brim with lovely ladies, but they have to make room for one more. Who's got boyfriends? Oh, yeah, that's a good. Who's boyfriend? Who's single? I'm single. Single. I've never had a boyfriend. Single. Single. Sure. I can help you out. Single forever. You got a boyfriend? Yep. Boyfriend, fiance, husband. Boyfriend. Boyfriend. What did he say about you coming on here? Actually, like. Was like, was, I I don't judge this next book by its cover because she doesn't look like your average law student. And Your Honour, here is the evidence. Skateboarding is considered cool until you're a girl. I have strong moral beliefs and I like to think I have a pretty good moral compass, but one thing that you can rely on me is that I always stick to what I believe in. I'm studying law. Humanitarian law is something I'd really love to get into. Going into the house, the one thing that I know will get me through is my truth and my honesty. I'll be there as me. What you see is what you get. It's a little bit street. If I do have a personality clash and I get in some fights, I will stand up until the end for, you know, what I believe in. She's got street smarts and book smarts. It's Estelle. <laughs> you would be a very good debater. Debate queen. <laughs> so you'll be able to hold your own in the house. Hopefully that's the plan. Okay. Because you do have some really strong views, don't you? What are the things that kind of get you fired up? Anyone who's racist, cruel to animals, homophobic, sexist. You know how it is. Because you do seem to be an oxymoron. You're a law student, you're a skater, a rapper. So how do you see yourself? As a little bit from left and right of centre, I don't think I really fit anywhere in one box. Let's give her a big round of applause. It's Estelle. Hey, Estelle. As Estelle prepares to enter the house, Big Brother prepares to reveal the details of his secret plan. Welcome 
back to the Big Brother 2012 launch night. Now, winning over a room full of five girls might seem like an intimidating task, but something tells me that Estelle can handle it. Let's see how she goes. has added two guys and six girls to his recipe mix so far. So let's meet his next ingredient. No, I'm not very cool. I tell myself I am, but I know that I'm not that cool. Everyone calls me Totes, my nickname, because I'm like, meh. being a city girl. I love the fact that I'm five minutes from anywhere. I mean, it's not really good for my credit card, but um, it's the only thing that makes me happy, I swear to God. Oh, I want you in my life. I've started to use cray-cray quite a lot. It means crazy. I actually used it in a presentation the other day, and yeah, it was quite awkward. You know how you think you're funny in your own head and then not out loud? <laughs> That's me. Maybe I'm too much, but maybe one day someone will like me for that. Because it's nice to feel loved, you know? OMG! It's Stacey! gonna go without your BFFs? Oh, look, I'll be fine. I'll just make new ones. <laughs> exactly, you can yeah. do that. Do you think the isolation in the house might make you a little bit cray-cray? Yes, definitely. <laughs> I definitely. But it'll be good. You it'll have to good. teach us some more of your, your shortened languages. Oh, so it's, that'll come out slowly but surely. Yeah. Oh, right. lol. <laughs> Lingo today, so we're totally oh, down totes. with it. Totes. Yeah. Okay, so what sort of guy are you looking for? Um, just someone that says yes with legs <laughs> is always good. <laughs> <I'm> breathing. <laughs> yeah, with a head and legs and arms. But, but not fussy, really. Yeah. Totes easy to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, Stace, so give me a hug. Oh, thank you. Laters. Laters. Stacey's life revolves around her friends, and now she's about to make some new ones. For me, we're only putting in one more housemate tonight before the secrets are revealed. We've now met all the girls, but Michael and Josh are still one amigo short. Not for much longer. I have never had a relationship, so never gone to first, second or third base or got a home run. Yeah. Let me check out. 
Fat Chick at my mum and dad's supermarket. $8.10 change. I'm from Korokai. Welcome to Korokai. It's a small town. There's 1,200 people here. Because the shop and the house are connected, my whole world is literally from the front door of the shop to my room. Yeah, is it odd? Perhaps, but it's, it's perfect for me. I have a speech impediment that is referred to as a stutter. I try not to let it control my life. Most prized possession would be my collection of pop culture t-shirts, Terminator shirt, Superman, Michael Jackson, and two Batman shirts. I'm Batman. I would call myself a geek and Bradley. Bradley and girls is quite an interesting relationship. Talking to a girl is just like talking to an alien for me. Big welcome, Big Brother's very own checkout chick, Bradley! Big cheer for you, Bradley. Yes, yeah, very nice of them to all cheer. Thank you. Great crowd here today. All right. Now, you're used to the isolation of a very small town. Do you think that will give you an advantage in the house? Because 1,200 people in Korokai, right? 1,200 people in Korokai, yes. It is quite a small town. I see there's one person from Korokai here, so um, half the town's here. No, um, it's... Uh, <laughs> It's, um, it should give me the edge, you know, I work in a shop so I have to constantly be, you know, talking to people so I should have a little slight edge, I think. Good luck. Yeah. So cute. Leave your bag there. Go with that. Say goodbye to Mum and Dad. The secrets are revealed and Big Brother will drop his bombshell. Welcome back to the Big Brother 2012 launch. Housemate number 10, Bradley, has now been cleared to enter the Big Brother house. <laughs> Josh. Hey, Josh. Welcome Brad. to the house, Brad. Oh. Shot. Well, no, I don't drink alcohol. Oh. So. Shots for you. We're going to have to wait. Wait, is that the rule? That the person you make it for, if they don't drink, you're going to drink it yourself? You've just made it. All right, yeah, Mandarin we'll Banana it. Armor is mine. Three guys and seven girls have entered the house so far, but why is Big Brother keeping them apart? Let's cross to the house. Your big Brother is set to unveil his plans. This is Big Brother. <laughs> Female housemates, welcome to the parlour. Listen very carefully. Big Brother has a challenge for you. The male housemates you are looking at are keeping a secret from you. Over the next few days, you will meet four more male housemates. The next few days? They will all be keeping secrets from you. Aww. But Big Brother will reveal all of the secrets to you now. <gasps> okay. They are, one, I have the IQ of a genius. <gasps> it won't oh, be obvious. No. Just Two, one, I, think we know. I have ornithophobia as a result oh. of an emu attack. <laughs> Mates, in case you're wondering, ornithophobia is the fear of birds. Three, I have been fired from every job I have ever had. Four, 
I haven't had a girlfriend since I was 11. I am a juvenile offender. Oh, what? Someone's a criminal. Six, I have dated more than 100 women. <laughs> and finally, I am a multi millionaire. Wow. Female housemates, listen carefully. Your challenge is to correctly match the secret of each male housemate to its correct owner. No. Success in this task will mean it is impossible that one of you will be the first to be evicted. Wow. We need Failure to in this task will mean it is certain that one of you will be the first to oh be evicted. God, do not what? say this. That is Gosh, Thanks for oh, the man. rules are simple. You cannot talk about your secret task with anyone outside of the parlour. If the males discover your secret task, then all of you will be up for nomination. <gasps> so oh my God, guys guys find out. No, we're not to run. Female housemates. The parlour will open when Big Brother decides. Okay. Only in this room may you discuss the secrets. We... Listen oh, carefully. Oh, Do not speak. Okay. <laughs> you cannot directly ask any male what their secret is. Oh, so questions like... Are you a genius? Are forbidden. <laughs> you Questions like, like, did you do well in school? Are allowed. Oh, oh, that's yeah. good. If questioned by the males on where you have been, you must answer only the parlour. Okay. If oh, asked okay. by the males what was discussed in the parlour, you must answer only women's business. <laughs> Female housemates. You have one week to complete your secret challenge. Oh, thank you, big brother. You may discuss the secrets now. Okay. 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 Should we? Right. Should we'll we'll say say I reckon the little wait. kid's a millionaire. No. no. I, no. I, I, hope, I hope I have dated more than 100 women is the same person as I am a multi-millionaire. Because no, I mean, he will be hot two, three, at a millionaire. Four, yes, he's big brother. Female housemates. Hi. It is time to enter the Big Brother house. Oh my gosh, are you ready, girls? That is all. Everybody, I love you so much. Zoe. Yeah! Behind you. Yeah? Behind you. Oh. Go out the door. What now? Female yeah. housemates, it is time to enter the house. That is how you shake the foundations of the Big Brother house. So what do we know already? There are three boys in the house, four to come, and they all have secrets. No more boys go into the house tonight, but it looks like the girls have got their hands pretty full already. So what are Michael, Josh, and Bradley hiding? And when will the other boys arrive? Let's see how they're getting on. Okay. On, um, when you come. Yeah. Now, just so you know, these are the two ladies who are going to love you. Where are your name? Oh, Sarah. Sarah, that's the one Sarah. G'day, Brad. That is a common name. Sarah. 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 So is Ben. It's a bright bad oh. thing. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> How old are you, Sarah, if you don't mind my asking? How old do you think I am, Brad? Oh, no. I'm nearly old oh, enough to be no. my mum. What? I want to be grandmother. Oh. <laughs> What? Be my, what? Calm oh. down, Brad. I said Brad nearly old enough to be mother. Not nearly quite, but nearly. Well, you can be mother at 16. Like, I could be a father. I know, I'm not. I had a baby when she was 16. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah? yeah. I, uh, 
27. I love you. <laughs> Is that the correct I'm age? 30. Second that notion, but I won't say it. So it's not you can say it. Okay, you're fine. Are you excited at just sleeping like sort of next to her, but through me? Yeah, that's gonna be fun. That's, awesome. that's gonna be awesome. I'm so pumped, so excited. Yay. To kind of contain it. Yeah. Oh, it's like Star Trek. What's that? Do you think it moves or is it sealed? Hang on. No. That's... Wait, that's something. Wait, that's something. I love it if it's Wait, not. no, don't make me... No, no, I'm not making you feel weird, I think. <gasps> oh, my God, that's something. Yeah. It moves, but it does it come back? Like that. <gasps> the door! It's a freaking door! <laughs> okay, I have a little secret. I have a secret until someone else finds out. What is behind the door? Just do it. This is Big Brother. This is us. Stop breaking the door. Housemates, think very carefully before clawing your way through the walls of the Big Brother house. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> well, okay, we can't get out of it. How come oh. Sean now gets two oh. back? Okay, we'll, we'll bring oh. out oh, so a couple. Much in here. After checking for contraband, Big Brother has sent in the housemates' suitcases. Mate. Oh, no, uh. Ladies! Ladies! Get rid of that. Should we go get our luggage? Yeah, we yeah. put these away and then, yeah, then we can get comfortable. Yes. They'll all be like showered. I like, I like your way of thinking. Yeah. <laughs> I get the feeling we're taking on like the motherly uh, kitchen I roles already. I, do you know what I'm okay with that? As long as everything's tidy and neat and clean. I'd rather have thing. something to do. <laughs> exactly. Do you know I had so little clothing that they had to give me some? Oh wait, did you get given clothing? I got they were like, dude, you don't have enough stuff. I'm going to the pool, man. I didn't bring any togs. Oh really? You want to pass? Oh wait, no, I did. Did anyone else bring photos? Or? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I that already. <laughs> oh, you can put them. <laughs> Does anyone else bring their pajamas on? Sandal. I'm putting mine on now. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. You too, yeah. are I will too. Pajamas? Can we all put jammies on? Yeah, yeah. put my jammies on. Let's put our jammies on. Something. I'm just a lady of leisure for many on the scene. Doing lots of backstroke for everyone to see. That's just my mum, yes. dad, and my little sister. Three photos are the only reminder of home housemates are allowed. Mommy, Daddy. Oh my, my God, God, I thought that was you. I really oh, did. Yeah. Did you bring oh, three? Sweet. No, they wouldn't let me have the third one in. Should we Why wait not? Oh, because it was a collage yeah, yeah, of like all my friends oh. and stuff like that that my friends had made me. Come on, oh, bitch, Sasha. Come on. Oh, oh. You love it. Oh. <laughs> Wow, let me tell you, it's busy here in the Big Brother control room where we have 42 cameras following the action. And take it from me, there will be plenty of it. See you after the break. Bradley and Sarah seem to be getting very friendly very quickly. What's the story there? Let's have a look and find out. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Will you will. There's only one. There's not two. People are very subjective. Who are you going to miss the most? In the house. I don't know. I don't know. really thought about it. Guess my parents. Who are you going to miss the most while you're in the house? My mum, my sister, my boyfriend Ryan, and my friends and family. Interesting. They're all pretty supportive. Yeah. Yeah. But you're a new baby. Yeah. Shaving a little bit. Yeah, sure. I'm not, but you are. Occasionally, 
show. Giving it a go? Yeah. Today was a special occasion. Oh, yeah. Okay, today. <laughs> One of the boy's secrets is that he's terrified of birds after being attacked by an emu as a child. Sarah is hunting for clues. Are you scared of anything? What do you mean, just in general? Not really. Blood and needles. I don't like blood or needles. You've had any run-ins with anything random? No. <laughs> what do you mean random? After, after, after 7 p.m. classic. Anything out of the ordinary besides natives? Any animals? No. Have you seen Brian's Yeah. Don't you love that bit where they're shouting? In the air or on the ground? No. You just put it in my face. Just ask him. <laughs> it's just the worst. I, I really want to know who's going to be in these birds. It's a little bit nerve-wracking, isn't it? This is Big Brother. Female housemates. <gasps> the parlour is now open. Oh, I forgot where that is. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> now I've got a few oh, clothes on, but I'm not that far along yet. <laughs> and then I want to sleep. Why are we still awake? I don't know. So, bratty boy. Yeah? What's going on with the females, mate? Not a lot. Not a lot at all. No? No. Oh, that'll change. There's plenty here. Yes, true. There's heaps here. I saw you getting it, getting it done. The before. idea of doing anything on national TV it, it's almost me, makes me sick. Yeah, I'm there's like, no chance I could do that. No, I don't think I could do it on, you know, TV. It'd just be way too like weird and awkward. Yeah, yeah you're right. Okay, 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 okay. I need to admit, I need to admit something. Whoa, 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 whoa. I have grilled and grilled and grilled Bradley. I don't know if he has the OQ of a genius. Like, that's just crap. He's not had any run-ins with any exotic animal, and I asked him that pretty well flat out. He's not been fired from every job he's had because he actually works from his parents, and he's not been fired from that because he works with his Unless he has been, that could be. A, number three could be. I haven't had a girlfriend. Oh. Could be. No, he's, he's never had a girlfriend. I just feel like it's in trouble. No, and no. He's still a youngin. Like, he's only 18. I reckon he might even be a juvenile offender. Yeah. Because just think about it. He's not a juvenile. No, he's never been in trouble. I asked him. He's never been in trouble. But he won't be able to tell you. What about in school? Did you go to a. Was it a unisex? Yeah, unisex school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, got no action at all. <laughs> no action at no all. No action at all. <laughs> oh, man. Well, not, not through lack of trying or? Not through lack. I tried heaps of times, but just <laughs> couldn't. Like that. Give it a punt. Persistence, bro. Yeah. Just do it. Tenacity. Off, Girls man. find tenacity. I mean, you don't want to stalk them, but <laughs> find that fine level between tenacious and stalking. <laughs> yeah, I don't <laughs> think I did wide. find that fine level between tenacious and stalking. It's a fine line Come between. Like Who, yeah, you know? oh, what's it? What's it, matter? <laughs> <laughs> I reckon Josh could have the IQ of a genius. Because yeah, he was yeah. saying, he, he, was, he seems witty. Yeah. He seems oh, very so witty and very quick to the quick. point. You know what? I would love to get him into like a political or like economical conversation and see how it goes. I think that, yeah, there's at least three things that will come out in the next couple of days just from their natural behaviour. So I think we just got to be aware and we need to see people naturally how they behave. But you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. I think we keep our, keep our eye out on Brad because he's just he's real short he's like when you when you ask him questions he's really like that's it done let's move on it's big brother hi stop it female housemates your time in the park yeah. is up thank, thank you it's time to return to the house thank you thank you see you soon i need another cup of tea i'm going to be like oh, another brew can I just take can I take a shower? I'm in bed. <laughs> Hi guys. Hola. Oh, you guys want a cup of tea? Hola. I've had one. No. I just washed my cup of tea. Hey, Hello. What's the parlour all about? Just chatting with the girls. Women's business. Oh man. I want to know what's going on in that parlour. Worked any of the secrets out yet? Well, hang around because there'll be more clues after the break.
Welcome back. Can you imagine it? You're in a house filled with total strangers and you have to live there until they throw you out. Well, let's stop imagining and see how our housemates are coping. The first night in the house is always a late one. Are you oh. Big Spoon or Little Spoon? I'm both. You're Little Spoon. Aren't yeah, you? I'm a Little Spoon. I'm good at being Big Spoon. Okay, because can we just try? It? All right. I just prefer a Little Spoon. That's all. That's, there we go. Oh, that's nice. Singer Shane lives with her mother and is finding a household of people overwhelming. And thank you. I am stepping very much out of my comfort zone in this respect, which um, I'm, I suppose, maybe putting off, obviously, why I changed into my, my jeans instead of getting changed into my pyjamas. Sleeping with somebody next to me is a little hard because I sleep by myself and I'm trying to remove myself from that situation and just go with it. <laughs> Let's hope I don't have too much anxiety over this. <laughs> I should be OK. I'll be right. What does um what do what do gay sharks sound like? <laughs> Stop it! It's been quite good. I'm enjoying it actually. <laughs> Did you expect you wouldn't enjoy it? Oh no, just uh, not that I wouldn't enjoy it. It's just a. Uh, extremely, uh, obviously a different scenario and experience. The people that I've met this evening are absolutely fantastic, so, yeah. Thank you, Shane. Thank you, good night. Thank you. Oh, oh. Thank you. Um, does anybody have any cups? I'm gonna go to the kitchen. Anybody got any empty hey, cups? Yeah. Yeah. I'll leave it. You sure? Thank you. That's right. Thanks. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's squishy. Oh. Thank you, darling. I suppose it's got, oh my god, I used to have, we used to have one of these in my house. That's a bottle opener. Oh, just yeah. in case you all want to know, but I actually used to own one of those. I think we still own it. Maybe that's the one from our house. <laughs> <laughs> they could have grabbed tidbits. Oh, wouldn't that be random? You just go, oh my god. What's so I'm like, I feel like I have one of these. This is just going to be the next cover for the next Kings of Leon album. <laughs> You know what? If you see it, then you'll be like, hey, you guys took that totally from me. I didn't clean the knife. You didn't clean Put it the down while you're either. next to me at all. I'm going to, yeah, all right? Good. Don't faff me. <laughs> faff you all I want. It's hard to clean with a fur. <laughs> I don't did you have to just put wash the olive oil that away. That? It's fine to sit there, isn't it? Did you did you just wash the board with the what, the cloth? I only watch cor coriander. Like I only put coriander on it. Yeah, but that's for the benches. Oh, I didn't know where the cloths were. Well, that, I've been using no, use that. I, I, I used this very first when I came into the house. Oh, did like, you? First, okay. so I've dipped it. I would prefer it if we had about a hundred of these. Yeah, here. Oh, actually, no, what about this? Yeah. Maybe that's it. No, no, no. Ta da! Oh, sickos. All right, well, this can be for that then. I don't do household stuff very well. <laughs> so you can make these. So what are you saying that I do? Well, you, you seem to you seem to be having an opinion on the matter and I have no idea. <laughs> so opinions mean you're, you've got, you know something. <laughs> but, uh, but, um, we're missing people. Yeah. I'm still, I'm out. Night, y'all. Yeah, night, y'all. Well, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. Oh, what a hoot. What a car hoot. <laughs> I hope the lights, no, the lights aren't off. I didn't see it. The world I did, can't even but I didn't. I know, right? So there you go. <laughs> oh, the yeah. crew will like go to sleep. <laughs> so when when do they turn the lights off? I think that'll be a it. We'll know it when it happens, sort of situation. If we don't shut up, they won't go off. I wouldn't mind just a, like a little subtle dimming. <laughs> <laughs> a little, a little, a little nice. <laughs> Can't wait to wake up and find more blokes, eh? Me <laughs> neither. <laughs> what a way to start, big brother. Secrets are out. But I have a little secret of my own. Listen carefully. The multi-millionaire is not in the house. But by this time tomorrow night, he will be. Will you be able to pick him? See you tomorrow for more secrets, more housemates, more Big Brother.
live at 7pm.